two, three. One, two, three. Hello everyone and welcome back to part four of my Sly 2 trilogy series adventure thing. Yeah, it's, you can tell it's late at night. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, part four. Haven't played for a little while. Stoked to get back into it. So we're going to have a bit of fun and get some of these missions going. So, so yeah, we'll start with the drawbridge one just because this one always opens up the rest of the maps. Though I do find, personally, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I find these pickpocketing missions a little bit boring and annoying. Especially if since you can't actually hit or attack the guard until you loot them and then you've got all the all of the, you know, guards have certain patrol times so you only can pickpocket like half of their change at one time and da 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 da. But no, I do see the reason for them. And in reality, of course the you know, you're not gonna have six different guards with six different keys because that's very inefficient, but it's a bit of fun. Alright, die. Haha, <laughs> take that. <laughs> also, I do love the um, thing, like, it's supposed to be, you know, a crowded ballroom party, you know, but you never see any guests, for a starter, and the second, and I think the more amusing part of it is, um, wouldn't you, you know, if you were the bad guy, wouldn't you notice something was up when your guard started disappearing, and your gate mysteriously opened by itself, and, you know, your elephants get, you know, attacked and ridden on and stuff, maybe you might want to, you know, Tighten security at that point or something rather than just, you know, carry on at the party going, no, it's all good. Now I've got more, you know, I've got more margaritas to drink. Oh no, maybe that's the idea. Ah, oh, stupid laser guy. Hey, whoosh. Oh, bugger off. Haha. <laughs> oh, I love that animation though. Always, like, it adds to the, like, this has always been a colourful, you know, childish sort of art style and I love the you know the you've got the powers and the zaps and all those bits and pieces when you kill guards or knock them off buildings just makes it a lot more you know cartoony and adds to that aesthetic BAM alright uh, yep do you know it took me so long when I first played this game to actually make that jump I didn't realize you had to jump from there I thought you had to jump from here so I'd be like going, Ugh! well, let's fail. But I used to just jump from that corner, and I never, and you can never make the jump from that corner. So I just kept failing over and over and over until I actually went out, um, waited till I got the paraglider, and then managed to get it that way. <laughs> what is just quite an amusing little thing? This strawbridge winch key. All right, take that guard. Also, stuff these guards. The Rajan's palace guards are probably. The most are uh, these guys and the slow eagle birds that the Contessa has. Spoilers, but I'm assuming if you're watching this, you haven't played. You have played the game before. If you haven't, I apologize for any spoilers. Doesn't mean I won't make them, but you know I will apologize for them. But yeah, they're so annoying. Like these guys, I don't mean to be rude, but it's so annoying. Like their m range attack is homing for some reason. So having a may like a ranged, stunning, um, auto lock on, um, throwing weapon attack is so annoying to a stealth character, because it's just so mind numbing to try and deal with. This this used to be my most least favorite gift guard pickpocket because look at the tiny space you've got to work in. Well, you'll turn around and see me. I'm guessing about now. Oh no. I must be better at this than I was when I first played it. Which is actually a few years ago now, because I played this when it, I think it was like six months after it first came out. So it was quite a while ago, actually. But the fact I'm still playing it now is a testament to how good it is and how it's, its replay value. Because I actually replayed this about a year ago. And I noticed a secret area in one of the missions that I never noticed before when I first played it. And for a game to do that, like, ten years after you first started playing it, is definitely a sign of a really long-lasting, good impact game. Or maybe it's just a sign that I'm blind. One of the two. Right, 
do do do. Haha. <laughs> also, I love how guards in this universe think the most greatest personal security system is to keep all of their money and wealth in their back pockets. Ooh, glue on. Nice. <laughs> Just imagining the driver's license, credit card, everything in the in their back pocket. And you just walking up and just nicking it all. Because uh, that's what you know a true honorable master thief does. They steal everything that isn't nailed down. Oh yeah, I remember this. You just, what you do for that guard, you just hit the gong or smash one of the chairs which lures him away from the back wall. So you can pickpocket him. And then kill him. Which it goes back to the previous thing of maybe, you know, they might notice, like, maybe Rajan should actually pay attention to his personnel roster and actually notice when guards are going missing. Also, this is the front gate of the palace, right? Or the, the main ballroom where Rajan and all the party guests are at the moment. And I look, I'm just going, and they're, you know, completely not noticing me. Also, that gunship really should be noticing me more. I mean, it is a kid's game at heart, and it's not supposed to make it too realistic or difficult, but just from a realism perspective, it is rather amusing. Oh, I've got all the keys. Oh, awesome. All right. I love the ninja spire jump. It's such a fun move. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. World War Two turret. Yep. Smash. All right. I do love this. Five different padlocks just to unlock one like drawbridge. Ah. Where I work at one of the local regional parks from where I live. We do have like multiple padlocks on like the same lock, but all of them are like have got a different key or a different password, so different you know community groups or organizations can access them. But having like five locks on one like chain just to open it does seem really really dumb. Oop! Yeah, nearly got stuck by the elf elephant. Also, look at this. This is just another thing. Um, you know, maybe someone might want to check that out. A mysterious, you know, blue van with orange flames on it. No? It's cool. It, it's allowed to be double parked where it is. No one's going to bother questioning it. See? This is why all villains are stupid. Alright, let's sell all the loot we got. I do actually like that improvement in Sly 3, which... Is it? No, it's Sly 3. No, it's Sly 4. Which I don't normally like to talk about. Um, where all the loot you automatically pickpocket gets auto-sold. It's just, it just saves a, uh, a menu screen, which I know isn't that much, but it's enough to make it, you know, appreciated. Especially if you, like, you know, you run out, pickpocket 50 guards, then you have to run back and get it all cleared up. Whereas, and if you're just in Cypher, you can just pickpocket, like, 50 guards, and then you don't even need to, you know, it doesn't break the flow of your you know, pickpocketing rampage scheme thing that you're up to. How do I get up there? Oh, these things. Jump, fat hippo. First, let's smack this guy. Hello, off the roof. Oh, I was going to say, off the roof you go. Yep. Alright, obligatory turret killing section. Aerial operations while on... It's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. I bet it's like a MA-28 a a Hind gunship. It, w it would be the type of gunship I'd imagine Rajan having. I mean, oh my god, Murray, you're just a moron. Um, I would imagine, like, Rajan having a Hind gunship. Obligatory mushing, button mashing section. Because it's an ugly gunship with heaps of rockets and guns, and it's pretty cheap, so it would be the type of thing I'd imagine warlords and dictators buying. Also, this is such a spiddly little gun. Alright. Oh, this is gonna take a while. This gun, what's this gun firing? 
I love it's like rusty pre-war turret, but it seems to be like a futuristic plasma turret. Alright. Uh, burst fire, burst fire. Get a few, get a blast onto that. Also, this thing must be behind in realism terms, because it's tanking a lot of hits. Ugh. Also, I do love, like, in all the, all games, you know, how you can magically shoot down rockets from a gun. Um, just with a standard, you know, um, AA gun sort of thing. Whereas in real life, I think you can shoot down missiles if you've got, like, a mini gun, which has computer guidance, controlled guidance, and targeting systems, but just to use a little pop gun like this would be so impossible. Maybe with like a Panzerfaust or a V1 or something, you know, one of those really old um, rockets where it doesn't actually travel that fast despite its speed. Ooh. Oh, I want to try and do this flawlessly. No. Quick, smash this thing up. Yeah, flawlessly, flawlessly. Oh, if you time it right, you can actually get both rockets. Haha, -ha, take that, you stupid chopper. Also, coming back again, maybe, you know, in reality, he would radio in that he's being attacked. You know, maybe getting some backup, some ground forces, you know, to attack the gun turret. You know, maybe he wouldn't just be sitting here firing, you know, high explosive rockets at a building inside his master's own palace. You know, maybe might be a bit more subtle about it. I mean, if this was a re reality thing, I would imagine, you know, you'd take down the chopper in a, a stealth mission where you... Ooh, nearly got it. Uh, where you take it out as it's refueling in the hangar, like you do in Sly 3. Oh, nice. You do in Sly 3. But maybe the guards, you know, might notice that. Just a massive guy in a big turret, just blowing down your expensive military hardware. Ah, oh, ballroom dance party. Probably, it's a really innocuous mission, but it's it's quite funny from a character development standpoint. The length that Sly goes to, you know, be Sly in that mission. And you got them on one of the most simple premises of all time. Alright. I think we have time for one more mission, I believe. I haven't bought anything new, have I? Alright, Sly. <laughs> Front gate is down. Charge for the Emperor. Yeah. Take that. Bash, bash, bash. Alright, I'm done. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but maybe, you know, the palace guards might notice their gate being open. Just slightly. You know, maybe. Conceivably. No. No one in the booth. Okay then. And we'll go this way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Thank you, clue bottle. Dun, 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 that, it looks like Slim Cognito from Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3. <laughs> also, seriously, I love that. No tugs, no entry. The fact that he's carrying a bloody, you know, um, massive two-handed cane with a claw attachment on the end, and he's dressed like a, you know, an assassin, you know, might ring some alarm bells for the door guy. Penguin suit. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. And this is where you get back to the true basics of the basic thief. Ransacking. Smack. Bye bye. Alright. I think we have time to ransack the place before we head off. Don't you agree? Yes, I think Mr. Guard agrees as well. Okay, Mr. Guard. We'll do what you say. Haha, start the mission. <laughs> I just love that. The guard gives like the puzzling look going, hmm? As you're walking in. I wonder how the audio is doing. Apologies, sorry. Focus. Focus, Mr. Gwimb. 
hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. That's a, you know, kind of interesting mechanics or maths you got on that one. Male falls ransacking is okay with me. So he slides the, you know, traditional thief. Like, he's the thief that the, every man can respect. You know, and he's like, well, what do you need to do? Oh, we need to get this thing. What do you want to do? Ah, oh, fuck it. Ransack the place. We'll torture it to the ground. Ideally, you want to take down at least one guy. Bash. That way, when the brawl comes, you only have one guard to deal with. Boom. Smack. Ooh, nice slide there, dude. I forgot about that um, attack they do. See, sly enemies always have irritating attacks, in my opinion. I suppose it's to make up for the fact that their AI and their personal intelligence is ditzy. But, like, homing, like, missile attacks are homing, melee attacks always do knock damage. It is quite amusing, in my opinion. Alright, let's ransack the place! Loot, 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 loot! Also, wouldn't anyone notice this at all? I mean, come on. Look at that. Look at the place. Look at what I've done to the place. No one's gonna notice. Ooh. Oh, I got a shit. Ugh, it looks like there's way too much starch in that shit. I'm gonna have to wash it before I wear it. Just throw it in the pond. <laughs> It'll do. Haha! <laughs> loot, 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 loot. Alright, I think that's, you know, sufficiently looted. Also, I wonder whose room this is. Because I'm immune, assuming it must be one of the guests. What have we got? I imagine this to be, like, Nila or Kamalida's room, just by the layout, personally. I know most of these rooms are the same. Most of them. But I imagine just because of the small... Um, size and the amount of storage space involved. Now this one, um, see it's exactly the same but still a bit different. Ah, uh, oh, see I hate that too. The fact that w if one guard notices you, every guard is noticed and it's quite, I I'd love there to be, you know, maybe a one or two second period between guard noticing you and all the guards in the game getting alerted. But then again, I'm just petty niggling, because this is still an amazing game. Ooh, a purple jacket, and it's a one-piece. Oh, I wouldn't want that. Who bought that along? I'm imagining this is Carmelita's room, actually, because she was wearing the purple um, one-piece dress, wasn't she? So, I'm imagining the room I ransacked earlier was Nilo's. This one's Carmelita's, and the next one will be, like, John Bisson's or something like that. It, it never states it specifically in the game, but I like to think so, because you add your own story to things. Everyone interprets things differently. Um, if this is Carmelita's room, I may as well leave something. So, um, we'll leave the bed. There you go. And get a good night's sleep. Alright. Now, is that the end of the... Hey, what room is that? 105. Ooh. Shh. I am a shadow. I'm like Nikoya Sharikin. Bam. Exactly like Nikoya Sharikin. 104. Uh, 103. I think this is Rajan's room from memory. Yes, it is. During the increased number of security. Whoop. I am in the shadows. I am a shadow warden. Bam. Then out of the mist. Bam. <laughs> See, that's like a, that's a, tr a true organic assassin type gameplay. The ability, you know, kill one guard, then the guards lure it over to where the previous guard was, then you, you know, slit his throat and. It's all good. Also, <laughs> stuffed you, Rayshon. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna smash everything you moan. Why should you get to have nice things? Oh, you can go outside in the balcony. Oh, the window's see-through. Oh, I never noticed that. See? You learn about new these things all the time. 
Like this guy thinks he's safe. But that's where he's wrong. Dead. Alright. Oh, blue with white. I don't really get you know, shoes like that. They should have been black formal. Oh well. T only two more rooms to loot. Uh, we're going this way, aren't we? Nope. Going the wrong way. See, I do love the fact this doesn't have an objective marker and it allows, you know, natural exploration um, while not being too challenging for people to actually try and navigate. But I do like in how Sly 4 they do add that little, you know, little bar that just states, you know, where you're supposed to be going. Alright, one guard dead. Shush. Two guards dead. Knocked to the ground and dead. Well, that was easy. See? All good. Now, I'm imagining this is probably Jean Bisson's room or something like that, maybe. Oh, well, who cares? Just smash the place anyway. I mean, it's not like they're going to have any troubles with it. Oh, we're doing a Michael Jackson impersonation now, aren't we? <laughs> getting, uh, getting our white gloves out. At least they're not diamond. At least they're not, you know, checkered. Or anything weird like that. Take that rug. Do, 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 do. Oh, I thought I killed you. Well, you did now. <laughs> it's pretty brutal when you think about it. Like all of these unpaid, well, low-paid hired henchmen, and you just ru and you just you know come up and slit their throats and smash them against the ground, and die, and just for lols. I actually hate that word, just for giggles. Ugh, bow tie. I don't like bow ties. You should wear a full tie, I think, Sly. You seem like the full tie type of guy. Nice. Dun 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 dun. Oh, 12% done with the game already. Mm, take that. Awesome. Alright. Dun 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 dun. Right, let's get to a nice place. I think right here. Alright guys, well, <laughs> just that pose is amusing. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Sorry I haven't been so energetic this part. Had a bit of a long day at work. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you... Oh, wait, before we do. Oh, is that the hideout? Where is that? I never noticed that. I must check that out. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you again another time. Goodbye.